Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but one of the interesting things that I'm working on for the like, book, and then one of the next chapters I'm going to be writing is about how Atlas Shrugged really isn't a political novel in that narrower sense. And it's kind of interesting. People think, oh, it's a political novel because it deals with the big issues that we debate in politics. Mm-hmm. But the, one of the interesting things about it is there's no electioneering in Atlas Shrugged. There, there's no elections. There's no political debates. There's no guiding legislation through – we never see any gui- legislation being guided through Congress. Mm-hmm. In fact, we don't have Congress. We have the legislature. We don't have the president. We have the head of the state. You know, and which I think is very interesting because I think those are cues she's leading, leaving closely. She's leaving us to say, you're not in Kansas anymore. This isn't the American political system that you know. Something's changed. And there really isn't political debate. Notice one of the few times any of the, uh, any of the heroes, any of the good guys in the novel is ever asked to say something publicly is when Dagny is blackmailed into going on Bertram Scudder's show to support the regime. So the idea, you know, it's very clear that the press is rigged so that only certain opinions are allowed to be said. So we're clearly doing, we're almost doing like a not, uh, of the novel's political in the sense of dealing with the big issues of, you know, government versus the individual. But it's also taking place in a post-political environment in the sense that the system's already been rigged. There's no public debate about politics. Mm-hmm. And the, all, all the politics that exists is basically this back room, you know, smoke-filled room, uh, machinations between the various villains of trying to form all there's the Tinky Holloway faction and there's the uh, you know this other and the all the different factions uh, that are forming behind the scenes among the insiders. Mm-hmm. So it's very interesting that it's not a political novel in the sense of electoral politics because that has already been sort of gone out the window. It's already been overthrown in some way. The, before na- the, the novel. narrative has been controlled. <laughs> yes, exactly. 